In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install and use the GUI Builder extension for BlueJ. First, using a web browser, visit BlueJ's website at bluej.org. Scroll down until you get to the hyperlink for extensions. On the extensions page, there's directions for how to install extensions and a list of available extensions. Find the simple GUI Builder extension and click on the link to their website. Click on the download button and the save dialog appears. Save GUI extension.jar into a folder in your account called dot bluej slash extensions. Now restart bluej. Open a new project. And then from the Tools menu, open the simple GUI extension. The GUI Builder is much like any, any kind of painting tool. In the upper left corner is a palette of widgets. In the center is a canvas on which you can build your GUI. And in the lower left is an inspector examining the properties of the widgets. So you may drag and drop widgets from the palette and arrange them as you would like in the canvas. Some fields allow you to edit their values directly in the canvas. Other fields have to be modified through the inspector. You can edit a widget's properties by changing the value in the properties text field. If you change the visible a visible property, it will be reflected immediately in the canvas. When you've arranged the items as you'd like, uh, you may save your GUI. One trick is if you'd like to resize the canvas, you have to, it, it's necessary to first enlarge the canvas and then carefully shrink it. The code that's automatically generated for your GUI can now be found in the parent folder to the project folder. And it has, by default, the name of the project on it, which you'll usually probably want to delete. then you can inspect the code that was generated for your GUI. Then you can manually modify that code if you would like. In this case, I'm going to add an action listener to the button. Then compiling the GUI and running it causes the GUI to appear. And now, if we click on the button, it responds with the new code that we've added manually. The only shortcoming of this tool is that once you close the tool, there's no way to resurrect your GUI in the tool. So it's a one-way tool that lets you craft your user interface graphically and then generate the code from it but you're not able to go from the code back to the GUI builder. So take care to have your layout just the way you want it before you close the tool. Because from then on, you'll have to manually modify the swing source code if you'd like to make any changes. That's the end of this short demo on BlueJay's GUI Builder extension.